Hello and welcome to the Norfolk School Games virtual competition for Sports Hall Athletics. During these sessions, all of your scores, your times and your distances will be recorded and put together into a class average with your friends. We'll then use this class average to compare you against other schools and other classes across the county. You'll be able to see how you're doing on the leaderboard, which is on the Norfolk School Games website. You can find that at norfolkschoolgames.co.uk. So listen, get involved, have some fun and be a part of history. This is the Norfolk School Games, the winter version done virtually. So let's talk about equipment. You will need a stack of cones, a ball, a stopwatch, a whistle, a tape measure and something that resembles a speed bounce snack. Shuttle run. Set up two cones 10 metres apart. We're going to run between them 10 times. The timekeepers record how long it takes each pupil to complete the distance in seconds, including to the tenth of a second. This can then be inputted on the class timekeeper. Stand in triple jump. See how far you can get with a hop, a skip and a jump. It's a standing start and a one-footed takeoff starts the hop. You land on the same foot, the step then taken onto the other foot, after which the jump is performed and you land on both feet. Don't step back as the jump is measured from the takeoff line to the back of the closest heel on landing. Vertical jump. Stretch both arms up as high as you can and use a tape measure to measure that distance. Stand sideways with your jumping arm closest to the wall. Bend your knees, jump as high as possible, making a mark or touching the wall. Then record the distance between the original mark and the new one. Speed bounce. For this challenge, you can use a speed bounce mat or another soft item to jump over. A speed bounce is a two-footed jump, taking off and landing with both feet at the same time. You'll have 20 seconds to see how many bounces you can make. You can't count the jump though if your classmate lands on the wedge. Chest push. Start with both feet behind the line and throw the ball as far as you can, pushing it out from your chest. Both feet must remain on the floor at all times. One foot may be in front of the other, but no run-ups are allowed. The distance thrown is measured from the throwing line to the point where the ball first lands. And you can record each pupil's best distance thrown on the class results form. If you can't take part in any of the challenges, then don't worry. There are plenty of leadership roles available. Just speak to your teacher and I'm sure they'll be able to find something for you to help out with. Certificates are available to download at the Norfolk School Games website and there'll be plenty of action and activity across our social media at Norfolk School Games. Good luck to everyone taking part and we look forward to seeing you in action.